This year for Air Max Day, Nike have released the original OG, the Big Bubble Air Max 1. So today's video, we're gonna take a further look into the sneaker and see whether we are feeling this big bubble or not. As it's for Air Max Day, it's only right we touch on a little bit of history. So in 1987, Tinker Hatfield, which is such a sick name, is an American designer for Nike. He designed the original Air Max One, and he just basically wanted to change the sneaker game forever. The actual first ones that were released had to be recalled back because they made them with bigger air bubbles at the back of the shoe. And this was actually cracking in different weather temperatures, which is obviously just a no-go. So this is now why the standard Air Max One has a smaller bubble and has smaller air units inside it. So Nike have replicated that 1987 OG version and this is what we have for Air Max Day 2023. This is in the colorway white and university red. These came out in women's and men's sizing so inclusive for everybody. These retail at £145 which is $150. Now of course these are called the big bubble and that's exactly what we have but other than that I do think maybe for a normal standard kind of person and maybe just on first glance they are very 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 similar to a normal standard Air Max 1 but there are quite a lot of subtle differences which we're going to go into right now but I do think unless you have it up close or someone points them out to you or you're doing a comparison side by side to another Air Max One I do think that that's when you can really see the differences. So now let's take a further look into the details of the big bubble Air Max One. As mentioned we have the classic heritage colour blocking, we have the white mesh and then on top of this we have the red and the grey suede overlays that make up the mud guard and also the side panels. Taking a look at the swoosh, the swoosh is one of those things that looks kind of the same but it is a little bit bigger especially when you're comparing it to the 2017 also the placement of it as well is a little bit different it's kind of dropped if we take a look at the back of the shoe we have the nike air stitching branding now the back of the shoe for me is one of the main kind of differences again it is very subtle but there is a difference there everything for me including the overlays are a little bit higher than usual also the kind of carving especially around the bottom overlay of the red it's not as chiseled as we usually see also the overlay overlays seem to be a little bit more bigger to accommodate for this big bubble especially around the back. Turning towards the front of the shoe we do actually have a different pair of laces than we usually see. These are a lot thinner. Personally for me I'm not a huge fan of these laces because I feel like they're just going to get really dirty and ratty and scruffy really easily. The eyelids are also a lot smaller as well so but I do think you could probably fit a normal standard pair of laces in there if you wanted to. If we take a look at the tongue tag this is quite different to usual. We have the Nike Air Max logo which is a lot bigger than than usual also it's placed differently the tongue tag is a lot larger and it's placed more towards the bottom of the tongue tag also behind it as you can see about three quarters of this tongue tag is kind of dyed kind of faded in this faded red as well taking a look inside the shoe we have the white sock lining with a red insole with the white logo also inside the shoe which is different in the sock lining we do have the number of the size of the shoe as well now moving on to the start of the show we have this big bubble now one interesting thing i found out was for this relaunch they actually use ct scans to replicate the original air unit and window which is pretty cool as you can see we have four bubbles when usually we only see three in the normal standard air max one this is elongated and i feel like this sets the precedent of the whole shoe i do think everything in the shoe just looks a bit more longer it makes it look elongated everything is a bit like stretched out that's what is kind of giving taking a look at the midsole we have a white midsole as expected it is bigger to accommodate obviously for this larger air unit as well then if we move to the bottom of the shoe on the outsole we have the colors red white and black the one really cool thing that i absolutely love is the box that it comes in so here we have this scratched out box it's supposed to look you know like a box from 1987 like you've literally had it for years and years and years and it's just got damaged and scratched on the top as you can see my favorite part we have this transparent swoosh window which you can actually see the sneakers in as well that is probably my favorite part and then on the sides on the front on the back we also have the four bubbles as well just like the sneaker just like the air bubble unit for me this is such a cool design that makes experience of collecting the sneaker so much better sizing wise for me for air max ones i always go down to 0.5 size no matter what air max one it is that is just how i like it it's kind of not tight but it fits very very well if you did want you know a little bit more space a little bit more room then you could go for a true to size 
size size. I personally think that I could fit in my normal true to size size, which is a size seven and also go down a 0.5 size as well. When I tried them on, I had to put one foot in this and I also had to put one foot in another standard Air Max one so that I could really capture the difference or, you know, try out whether there is any difference. And after doing that, I have to admit there is a difference in them. I do think that they kind of feel different. It's a weird one to explain. They feel different on foot, but in terms of comfortability, they feel pretty much the same. It just feels different because obviously part of my foot is going to be covered over a bigger air unit. Now, personally for me, I actually have really mixed feelings about these. When I first got these, I don't think I was keen on the big bubble. Even when I saw them in pictures online and when I ordered, when I got them in hand, I still wasn't sure. I was just dreading that the bubble was going to elongate my foot and just make the shoe overall just look bigger and make my foot look bigger, which I really didn't want. But after trying them on, I do think that the big bubble actually looks really good. Another thing for me as well is that I'm not the hugest fan of this suede quality. I do feel like it feels and looks kind of cheap. I don't know, obviously they're just trying to, you know, replicate the original, but for me, I just feel like it's not giving premium quality. It's not even giving standard quality. I just feel it looks a little bit cheap. Also with the air bubble, I do feel like, I hate to say it, but it kind of, this could pass as like a fake version, a replica version. Like if you went to, you know, when you go on holiday and there's people selling those fake replica sneakers, I do feel like this could pass for one of those, which that vibe I'm not feeling. However, it kind of contradicts, I kind of contradict myself when I do try it on. I do really like how it looks, but it's just, is that just because I like maybe the look of a fake replica sneaker? I think I find it hard because I really like the standard normal silhouette of an Air Max one. I just think it looks really clean and smart and chiseled where I feel like this is just more, it is more, it is more bubblier and it's just, I just don't know. I just don't know how I'm feeling about everything being elongated. It kind of just doesn't sit right with me. I don't know if I just need some time to just kind of work with it and get over it. But anyway, let me know what you guys are saying. I do understand that this is obviously kind of a monumental shoe. It's, it makes history, of course. And I can understand why people, why so many people would want this in their collection and, you know, view it as a special one. Thank you guys so much for coming through for today's video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, stay updated with all my latest videos and I'll see you guys next time. Time.